Chaco Canyon has been incredible to see, to say the least. I mean, just imagine a thousand years ago, this is where indigenous people were meeting. They'd come from 60, 70 miles away, converge here for trading and for ceremony. And the size is astonishing. Three story structures, again, constructed 1000 years ago. Today, the ruins still stand, but our closest connection to those who were here might be what happens in the sky. So when you come out here to see the dark sky, you're getting the closest to the reality that the people here a thousand years ago had because that's the part of the environment that has changed the least. GB Cornucopia is a park ranger at Chaco. These are his photos. It's his favorite topic to talk about, Chaco and the connection to the night sky. He felt it his first time seeing it. And I just got sucked in and I just couldn't leave. See, Chaco has a perfect combination for stargazing, very little light pollution, high elevation at 6,200 feet and dry air. I asked GB how he explains it to people who've never seen it. Here was his response. It's been said now uh, a couple of years ago that most people on the planet live where they cannot see the Milky Way. Well, you come out here and you see the Milky Way, you can walk by it at night, it can light your way. And that's overwhelming. So you don't have to explain it, show it, and uh, it affects people. And if you are coming out here to Chaco, just know the last mile or two of this road can be pretty rough. Don't let it scare you away from this gem though. I'm Todd Kurtz. I'll see you next week out there on the road as we continue to celebrate New Mexico. It costs $20 to camp at Chaco Canyon. Rangers will be starting the evening stargazing program again later on this summer.